Hi everybody, my name is Matt Haynes. I'm an audiobook narrator and I am on a mission to learn 52 accents by April 17th, 2016. We go to accent number 17 in the series, Chicago. Uh, what you should know about the way I'm going to do this video is I'm going to give you only five sample tips of what I understand to be the changes between Middle American, which is what I'm speaking, and Chicago, which is what we're going to be practicing. Use these five tips to tune your ear as you're listening to uh, people from Chicago speaking, and also take them, dial them back if you need to whip up a, a good but fairly subtle accent for Chicago for audio work or for whatever. I also highly recommend David Allen Stern's Acting with an Accent audio series, which goes into more thorough detail about the Chicago accent. Um, and uh, also Accent Tag on YouTube is particularly helpful. Also, try practicing these changes to song lyrics that you know. This is a technique that I love to do. Any song that you have memorized, take the changes that I'm about to introduce and identify them in the song as they come up as you recite the lyrics and, and practice it that way. All right. Chicago change from Middle American, number one, the general resonance. So uh, as I understand it, in Middle American, we're mostly in the middle of the mouth. And in Chicago, it goes up and back to the, uh, to the teeth and the soft palate. So instead of A, B, C, D, E, F, G, which is Middle American, Standard American, it goes into A, B, C, D, E, F, G if you can hear that difference. It also affects uh, some of the consonants and, and such and uh, the vowel changes that we'll explore later. Chicago change number two. Now forgive this drawing, it looks a little crude, but uh, the point I'm trying to make is that the D's and the T's at the ends of the words go more to the front of the mouth, even past the front teeth. So typically in standard American, we would have the D sound and the T sound happening just behind the front upper teeth. In Chicago, as I'm hearing it, it actually goes into the front. So instead of blackened is the end, it becomes something more like blackened is the end. In number three, we have the famous short O, ah, coming into ah. So uh, this is why people simply say Chicago when they are, you know, referencing somebody from there. Um, so instead of opposition, contradiction, which is from the song lyrics that we're going to do, it becomes apposition, contradiction. And, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, number four, the a ah sound, the short a, tends to become a. Ah. Now this is very similar to New York or Boston, uh, except in New York or Boston, there's quite a few exceptions to this rule where a ah sometimes just becomes a. Ah. As far as I understand it, in Chicago, you can just have at it and have a ah, a ah, a ah, just about everywhere. Um, so in the lyrics to the upcoming song, we've got callous, frigid, chill. In uh, Chicago, it becomes callous, frigid, chill. Finally, the I sound, the uh, long I sound, if you dissect this, it is an I-E in uh, standard American, so I. Um, in Chicago, because of where the resonance is, it becomes an E-E, A. So instead of violation, it becomes violation. Instead of dies, it becomes dies. Okay, let's take these and try to apply them to Metallica's Blackened. This was our first request that we had for a uh, song for me to do and see how it goes. Blackened is the end. Winter, it will send, throwing all you see into obscurity. Death of Mother Earth, oh. never a rebirth. Evolution's end, never will it mend. Oh. Fire, to begin whipping dance of the dead. Blackened is the end. Blistering of Earth, terminate its worth. Deadly nicotine kills what might have been. Callous, frigid, chill, nothing left to kill. Never seen before. Breathing never more. Opposition, contradiction, premonition, compromise, agitation, violation, mutilation, planet dies. Darkest color, blistered earth, true death of life, termination, expiration, cancellation, human race, expectation, liberation, population laid to waste, see our mother, put to death, see our mother die, 
Smoldering decay, take her breath away. Millions of our years and minutes disappears, darkening in vain, decadence remains, all is said and done, never is the sun, fire is the outcome of hypocrisy, dark is potency in the exit of humanity, color our world black and black and... Ah, oh, crap. Lyrics for Blackened were written by Metallica, except for the final word that I added at the very end of that. And the music was provided by the very versatile and generous Kevin McLeod. Next up is going to be number 18, which is going to be Midwest Farm slash Ranch Accent, done to Pink Floyd's Wish You Were Here. In the meantime, comment below. You never know. Ask for a song, ask for an accent. I may do one, I may do the other, but I've certainly got plenty of these to go, so it may appear on the other side. Until then, rock on.